Hey guys, so this week we're going to be taking a look at the Timbuktu Never Check Expandable Backpack. And so I've had my eye on this one for a while. I was really excited when Timbuktu first announced it, especially when they included the ability to expand and contract the bag. It seemed like it would be a great option for something that you could use for your day to day as well as for quick trips. And on top of that, it seemed to have great style. And coming from Timbuktu, I figured it would have a really nice build quality as well. And so I went ahead and ordered it and I've been testing this out for the past couple of weeks. And overall, I've been really impressed so far with all the different features that the bag has to offer as well as the comfort and the ability to expand and contract. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys and let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Timbuktu Never Check Expandable Backpack. So starting out with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall look that the bag is going for here. It has a really modern and sleek look. It reminded me a little bit of the Bellroy Classic Plus that we looked at a few weeks ago on the channel. So really like the overall look. The bag just comes in this one color here, which is described as night sky. So primarily that's a darker color to me. It's kind of a black with a little bit of almost purple, it looks like, like a very dark purple. Depending on what light is hitting it, it kind of tends to change. So I haven't been able to pin it down exactly, but the name of the color is night sky. And that is the only color that the bag is currently offered in. But as I mentioned, I really like the look overall. I think it has a lot of really interesting accents. I love these hooks on the outside. The bag has a lot of awesome organization. The pockets are really well laid out. And so one of the big things that caught my eye about this bag was the fact that it's expandable. So it works well as a daily bag and possibly as a bag for quick trips. When the bag is compressed, it's about 24 liters which is a pretty nice size for daily use. It's a little bit on the larger end of what I would typically want to carry, but it still doesn't look too big as you're wearing it. And it's definitely able to hold all the items that you'll typically want to take with you as you're moving about your day. And the bag has a zipper that goes around the perimeter of the bag that allows this to expand to about 30 liters would be my guess. I wasn't able to find the exact measurements on the Timbuktu site, but I have been impressed with just how much it's able to hold when it's expanded out. So we'll go into a little bit more detail on that later in the video, but just wanted to call out the fact that the bag's aesthetic works really well for both sizes. I think it looks great as a daily carry bag and as a travel bag. And on top of having a really modern look, I think the bag has an aesthetic that's gonna fit in well in a professional environment. The materials that Timbuktu has chosen to go with here feel very durable and like they're gonna hold up well to a variety of environments. It feels like it's gonna repel water pretty well. They have nice YKK zippers all around the bag that seem to offer a really good amount of water resistance. I also like the reinforced zipper pulls that the bag has all around. So just adding that air of quality and durability. As far as the weight of the bag, when it's empty, it weighs about 2.4 pounds. So it's not super heavy and it's not gonna add a whole bunch of extra weight when you fill this up and you're using this on your day to day, which is nice to see. And so continuing on with the outside of the bag, Timbuktu has added a few different grab handles on the top and side of the bag, which are really comfortable to hold. They feel very sturdy, the same seatbelt like material that we've seen in other premium bags such as this. So just a really quick grab handle here on the top, which feels very comfortable to hold. And then there's also a bigger one on the side for if you want to carry the bag as a briefcase. Unfortunately, you can't hide the straps as you've been able to do with some of the bags that we've looked at on the channel, such as the Nomadic Travel Pack or the standard daily backpack that we looked at a few weeks ago. But even with the straps out, they don't really flop around too much and it's still nice to be able to carry the bag like a briefcase if you're walking into a business meeting and you don't wanna wear it on your back. And we'll go into a little bit more detail on the pockets later on in the video, but one thing that I really liked is that a lot of them have been laid out to work very well for use when the bag is being held like a briefcase. So they're very easy to access from the side as opposed to having to go from the top. So really thoughtful design there. And then in addition to the side handle and the top handle, Timbuktu has also added just a few additional points where you could strap things on with a carabiner. Maybe you could attach a bike light or if you have an extra pair of shoes that doesn't fit in the bag, you can kind of hang it on here. So really nice versatility there. So one thing I was really happy to see is that the bag offers an external water bottle compartment, which is really nicely implemented. As you can see, I have the same water bottle that I've used in all my other daily bag videos, and that fits in there very comfortably. The bag has a nice elastic material here. It comes out a good amount. So if you have a wider water bottle or even something like a tripod, that's gonna fit in there very comfortably. And then of course, as I've mentioned in a lot of other videos, I really like when the water bottle compartment is collapsible. So it has a nice zipper that allows you to close up the water bottle compartment to give the bag a sleeker look if you're not using it. So moving on to the straps and the back panel, I've been really impressed with how comfortable the straps have been to wear. They're very well padded, they're nice and thick. They have a really nice kind of meshy material on the back that seems like it'll provide a good amount of airflow. So they're really soft right out of the box. I haven't felt any fatigue on my shoulders. I really like how wide they are to prevent them from digging in even when I'm wearing a lot of weight or when the bag is expanded out. And so Timbuktu has included an adjustable and removable sternum strap here, which helps distribute the weight pretty nicely. They've included kind of this modern style that I'm starting to see in a lot of different bags, which seems to make it very easy to adjust and remove the sternum strap if you want to. 
Moving on to the back panel, this has been super comfortable to wear so far. It feels great as I'm wearing it on my back. I really like the thick padding that's been used here. It's really soft, it comes up a good amount. You can see how thick the padding actually is here coming off the back. And I really like this middle channel that they've added here to provide some elevation and a little bit of additional airflow to help prevent moisture buildup as you're wearing this throughout the day. And although this helps a lot and so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear, I do wish there were a few more air channels spread out across the whole back panel just to add a little bit more airflow. But overall, this has still felt really nice. It's been really comfortable so far. There's a lot of support all throughout. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the back paneling here reminds me a little bit of the Bellroy Classic Plus that we looked at. The one thing that it doesn't have is that nice elevated support in the lumbar area, which I loved on the Bellroy bag. But the rest of the back paneling here reminds me a lot of that bag. And it's been super comfortable to wear so far, regardless of how much weight I've had on it at any given time. One thing I will call out here is that the bag doesn't have the capacity for adding waist straps. And honestly, I don't think that's a huge deal because the bag doesn't ever really get that big and I don't think there's that much weight that you're gonna be able to fit in it at any given point, even when it's expanded. However, it would have been nice to have the ability to add and remove waist straps, kind of like the Nomadic Travel Pack offers or even something like the Wander Provoke, which aren't huge bags, but they do have the capacity to expand and hold a good amount of weight. And so I really like that those bags give you the ability to kind of customize the way that you can distribute the weight. And so moving on to the pockets of the bag, the way that Timbuktu has chosen to lay out the organization here is one of the biggest high points of the bag in my opinion. I really love how well thought out all the pockets are. I think they're all very useful and easy to get to. And so the first one I'll call out is a quick access compartment that they've included here on the front. I really like when bags have a compartment such as this, which makes it very easy to grab something during the day. Currently what I have in here is just my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. So that fits in there very comfortably. And this compartment, offers a good amount of space. As you can see, it has a fair amount of volume so that you can put something thicker like the sunglasses. This might also be a good spot for something like your phone or a power bank. So really nice versatility here. There's not any internal organization in this pocket. It's just a simple quick access compartment, but I love how easy it is to get to. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I love that it's a horizontal pocket, which makes it very easy to access if you're using the bag as a briefcase. You can just reach down and grab something very easily. So if you're going through TSA or we're running through the airport, this might be a great spot to put your wallet or your keys or something like that. So nice implementation there. I really like the inner blue lining which makes it a little bit easier to see everything that's in the compartment. And on top of that, I love that it has this nice YKK zipper on the outside to help keep whatever you put in here protected from the elements. So if you do have something a little bit more delicate, you can still rest easy that it's gonna be well protected in this pocket. And so before moving on to the next compartment, I wanna talk about these straps that are on the outside here. So these are really nice, thick feeling straps. They have a nice premium feeling material, a little similar to what we saw on the handles, but a little bit thinner. The company has also included these nice metal hooks, which are very easy to get in and out to allow easy access to the compartment. I'm not entirely sure what these are for. I suppose they could provide a little bit of extra security and they might help compress the bag down if it's a little bit emptier. They might also be good for attaching something like a tripod or maybe even if you release them and expand them out, you might be able to roll down a light jacket and attach it here with the straps. So again, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of these hooks was, but there is a few different use cases that I can think of. And as I mentioned, I do like that they add a little bit of extra security to this pocket because as these are tied down, it's a little bit harder to get into this bigger organizational area. And I like that it's easy to remove them because of the hook system here. So unhooking these and moving on to the next compartment, I really like that this pocket has an awesome water guard here to protect all the different accessories that you might want to put in here. There's a lot of internal organization in this compartment. I love the really wide opening zipper that it has. As I mentioned, all the pockets here have been designed to work well while you're using this as a briefcase. So it's really easy to reach down while you're walking around with the bag sideways and see everything that's in the compartment. I, I really love all the different internal organization that has been provided in this pocket. It really has a place for everything. And on top of that, even with all the internal organization, it's still a really spacious compartment. So as you can see here at the bottom, I have a lot of leftover space. If I wanted to put something a little bit bigger in here, like my Goldruck wired up, I would have had plenty of space. However, because of the internal organization that I have in here and how much leftover space is in the main compartment, I just wanted to keep this area a little less cluttered. And so just going through the different pockets, on the flap here, there's a few different slip pockets. One bigger one on the bottom here, where I've just put my lightning cable to charge my phone. And then on top of that, there's a smaller slip pocket, which is perfectly sized to hold my Apple Magic Mouse. And so I really like how kind of hidden these compartments are. It definitely is a nice stylish way to provide a lot of organization without giving the back too much of a busy look. And then here, right next to the top slip compartment, there is a small slot for a pen or a stylus, which is what I currently have here, just a stylus and laser combo. And so that fits in there very nicely. I love the overall look of this flap area. 
And then as I mentioned, plenty of leftover space in this bigger compartment. There's nothing really here on the bottom, but as you can see, this goes in a fair amount. It goes all the way to the other side of the bag, so plenty of space there. A few additional slip compartments here on the back side of this compartment. Here on the back, there's a taller slip pocket. It comes out a good amount, so it would be able to fit some wider accessories if you needed to use it for that purpose. So something like a hard drive or a bigger portable battery. Currently what I have in here is just my Field Notes notebook that fits in there very comfortably. And then below that, there's another wide slip compartment, which also offers a good amount of space for thicker accessories. So currently what I have in here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank but a lot of leftover space here. There's, I love how much flexibility is offered and how you can organize your stuff. And I really like how useful all the slip pockets are because of the amount of volume provided to each of these compartments. I like that they're both useful. You don't have that issue where you have slip pockets on top of each other and it's hard to use one when the other one is full. There's enough space for you to be able to use both. So really thoughtful and well laid out design there. I was really impressed at how useful all the organization that has been provided in this pocket is. And then last but not least, there's a nice mesh zipper compartment here on the bottom, which also has a good amount of volume, plenty of space to store all the items that you don't want just kind of floating around. And so this zippered area is as wide as this whole compartment, so a lot of space here. It offers a good amount of volume. As you can see, it even fits thicker items such as my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. This would also be a good area to put cables and dongles and just smaller accessories that you don't want floating around. I also have just a flashlight and keychain combo that I carry here with me. So a perfect spot for holding those smaller accessories that you don't want floating around, especially if you don't use pouches like the Power Packer or the Gorok Wired Up and you need somewhere to keep all the smaller accessories, this is gonna be an awesome spot to do just that with the amount of space that's offered and also with the fact that it's a mesh pocket to allow you to see what's actually on the inside. So really great job on this bottom zipper compartment here. Lots of space, very useful, and just a great job overall on this outer accessory compartment. Next up, I wanna talk about the laptop compartment. And so I really love how this has been implemented here. The laptop compartment has a really nice YKK zipper with a good amount of water resistance. On top of that, I like that it has a zipper garage here on the top to add just a little bit of extra protection against the elements. And so this zipper opens up very easily and the bag has a really nicely padded laptop compartment. It has plenty of space. As you can see here, I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but there's definitely enough space in here for a 15 inch laptop and it comes out pretty wide. So if you have something a little bit thicker than a MacBook Pro, it should be able to fit in there pretty comfortably. As I mentioned, the compartment is nicely padded on both sides. It doesn't have any sort of felt lining on the inside, so that would have been a nice addition to provide a little bit of extra protection against scratching. But overall, the compartment feels like it's gonna keep your device protected. I like that it's a side access compartment to make it easy to grab while you're holding it as a briefcase so you can reach in and pull your laptop out very quickly, or you can even take it out while you're wearing the bag. So really convenient there. I love when bags have this side access laptop compartment. I did notice that the compartment is pretty well padded on the bottom. It's not elevated, so that would have been a little bit better to add some extra protection against drops, but it still feels pretty well padded. So when I put my laptop down a little bit harder, I didn't feel the laptop actually touching the ground. So even though it's not elevated, I like that they have added a little bit of padding. And overall, I think the laptop compartment does a really great job of making me feel like my device is gonna be protected. So moving on to the main compartment of the bag, I really like the wide opening that this compartment has. It doesn't open clamshell style, but it does come out nice and wide, allowing you to really easily see everything that's in the main compartment. So this actually reminds me a lot of the Timbuktu Division Pack, which had the same kind of wide opening with these little plastic guards here to prevent the bag from opening all the way flat. And so as you can see here, there's plenty of space on the main compartment. As I mentioned earlier, the capacity of the bag when it's compressed is 24 liters. So there's a lot of space for all the items that I typically wanna use on my day to day. And on top of that, this main area also has some nice internal organization to help provide a little bit of extra structure to where you wanna keep everything. And so the first thing I'll pull out here is my GoRook wired up, which has my laptop charger and all the bigger kind of tech accessories that I don't want floating around in other pockets. Next up, I have my Beats Solo Wireless 2. Then I have my full-size moleskin notebook. Next up, I have a nice big textbook that I've been referencing during my work. The next thing I have here is my Levitate portable standing desk, so that fits in there very comfortably. And so now that the main compartment is a little bit empty, you can really see just what a big bucket it is, so there's plenty of space here. I love how wide it comes out, which is great for storing those bulkier items. Also, if you wanna carry a pair of gym shoes, and a change of clothes during the day, that's gonna fit in there very comfortably. So I love how much space the bag provides, even when it's compressed. Last thing I wanna call out here in the main area, on the back there is a little slip pocket here. It's not very padded or anything like that. It doesn't have any sort of felt lining, but this might be a good area to put something like a tablet. So it's a fairly large compartment. Currently what I have in here is just my folder with my receipts and papers. 
The sleeve itself doesn't seem to be elevated completely off the ground, but it does seem to have some padding on the bottom. So if you do put your tablet in here, it should offer at least a little bit of protection. But the sleeve itself, as I mentioned, is very flimsy. It's not gonna add any padding itself to the laptop, so it might still be good to have some sort of protection on a tablet if you do choose to use this slip pocket for that. And so continuing on with the flap of this main area, it's nice that there's a little bit of organization offered to help keep some items separated from this main kind of bucket area of the bag. So there's a small slip pocket here, which might be a good place to also put something like a tablet. This compartment here isn't padded. It doesn't have any sort of felt lining, but it is elevated off the bottom. So this might actually be a better spot for a smaller tablet. Currently what I have in here is my Kindle, but this would have been a great spot to put my iPad mini too as it's a pretty small sleeve. You might be able to fit a full-size iPad in here, but definitely an iPad mini 2 or a smaller tablet is gonna fit very comfortably. This might also be a good spot for something like the Moleskine notebook or just a small paperback book that you wanna be able to reach quickly as you're traveling or throughout your day. And then last but not least, the bag has this smaller zippered compartment here at the top. It has a nice mesh material that allow you to see what's on the inside. And so this is a nice alternative to having the quick access compartment on the top that a lot of bags have. And so I do like when bags have that top quick access compartment, but this is still a really nice implementation here. It's still very easy to get to. If you open this main compartment, this will be very easy to reach down and access this pocket. As I mentioned, I love that I can actually see what's on the inside and it offers a good amount of volume. Currently what I have in here is my UTEC wireless charger and that fits in there very comfortably. But the compartment itself comes out a good amount. It should be able to hold any number of smaller accessories or maybe even something like my sunglasses I probably could have put in here and it would have fit just fine. One thing to note is the compartment does kind of open a little bit flatter, so you should be careful as you're opening this so that things don't just fall out. But overall, I really like the placement near the top. I think this adds a nice kind of quick access area that you can reach down and grab as you're moving about your day. So nice implementation here. And so as impressive as this bag is as a daily bag, I think where it really stands out is with how well it actually ends up working as a travel bag when you expand it out. So as I mentioned earlier, the bag has a zipper that goes along the perimeter that allows you to add a few more liters of volume to really pack this bag out if you wanna use this for a quick trip or if you're a more minimal packer, I think you could easily get a week of travel out of this bag with this additional volume here. So as I mentioned earlier, when the bag is compressed, it has about 24 liters of capacity. And so with this additional volume added here, I think it gets close to 30. So when I first saw that this bag had the ability to expand, I was very curious to see how it would compare to the Nomadic Travel Pack and the EO Travel Backpack and other similar minimal travel bags that we've looked at on the channel. And so what I wanna go ahead and do now is fill this up with the same type of items that I would typically include in those bags or for any trip where I wanna travel for around a week or two weeks. You can open the main compartment. Again, I do wish that the bag had more of a clamshell opening to make packing a little bit easier. That is one area where something like the Nomadic Travel Pack does have an edge if you're wanting to use this for travel is the ability to open more like a suitcase. But this is still a pretty wide opening and it's pretty easy to get in all the different items that you'll wanna pack with you, especially if you're using something like packing cubes. And so what I have here are all the same items that I've used in all my other travel bag videos. So let's go ahead and see how well they fit into the bag when it's expanded out. So the first thing I have here is my bigger double-sided packing cube with all my dress shirts and jeans and things like that. Next up, I have my smaller packing cube with my socks and some t-shirts and underwear. And then of course I have my trusty Toms, which I take with me on all my trips. And then I have my in-case accessory pouch, which I've actually been using as my dop kit recently just because of how small it is. And so as you can see, I even have a little bit of leftover space so I could fit something like a flatter pair of shoes or even a pair of sandals, or maybe something like my Beats Solo Wireless 2, which I like to take with me on longer trips. And so I was kind of shocked at how easily I was able to fit all these type of things. And so as I've mentioned in all my other travel bag videos, these items here will definitely get me through a week or two of travel very easily. So I was very shocked that I was able to fit them so easily into this bag, especially given that it really doesn't look very big even when it's expanded out. And so as you can see, even with everything that I have here, I can still close the bag very easily. I like how comfortably it feels like everything fits. It doesn't feel like I'm overpacking the bag or that I have to worry that it's gonna possibly break while I'm traveling. So it doesn't end up looking too big. There's plenty of space. This is definitely something that's gonna work as a carry-on item. I would even be able to see this possibly fitting under a seat on a bigger airline. So very impressive overall with just how well the size of this bag has been used. It's still really comfortable to wear even when the bag is expanded out and it has this extra weight on it and it still doesn't look that big. So I'm just really glad to see that the bag kind of lived up to the expectations that I had for it and I think this is gonna be a really compelling option for anybody who's looking for that dream bag that's gonna be able to work well as a daily bag and for quick trips. 
And so just to wrap up, I've been really impressed with the Timbuktu Never Check expandable backpack. I've really enjoyed using it. I think it has awesome features, a really great build quality, comfort, and I love the versatility that it offers with that ability to expand and contract. And I was especially impressed with how well the bag worked as both a daily bag and as a bag for quick trips. And so you can purchase this bag on Amazon or Timbuktu's site for about $200. At $200, the bag is a little bit of an investment, but you are getting a lot of value for your money. As I mentioned during the video, it offers a lot of great features and quality. And on top of that, it's backed by Timbuktu's lifetime warranty to give you a little bit more peace of mind. We've had a lot of different Timbuktu bags on the channel and I've used many over the years and I've always been really impressed with how well they've held up. And so if you have the ability to spend a little bit more on a bag and you want something that's gonna work in a lot of different situations and hold up well, over the longer term, I think this would be a good option to take a look at. And other bags that we've looked at that kind of fall into the same space of being hybrid bags are kind of around the same price range, so it's not much more expensive than those type of bags. And so this bag reminded me a lot of the Nomadic Travel Pack, and that's been one of the best hybrid bags that I've used. I've tested that bag out a lot. I've taken it on lots of trips and used it for daily use a good amount, and it's been holding up really well. And that bag can be purchased on Nomadic site for about $220, but if you're able to use the coupon code that I included in the description below, you can get that for about $190. So at that price point, it's a really great deal. It's even a little bit cheaper than this bag. And it also includes a waist strap and a compressible packing cube. So it's a really compelling alternative. I do like the look of this bag a little bit more than the Nomadic Travel Pack. I really like the overall style. And I'm a big fan of Timbuktu's bags in general. So it's a tough choice for me to say which one would necessarily be better. But I do think that if you're just looking from a price standpoint, the Nomadic Travel Pack might have a slight edge. This bag also reminded me a bit of the Tortuga Set Out Divide, which we reviewed a little while back. And that's another great bag that has the ability to compress and expand to work well for daily and travel use. And I've really enjoyed using that one as well. Has some really great quality, also includes a really quality waist strap, and that costs about $180. So again, a little bit less expensive than this, and it might work even better as a travel bag as it does get a little bit bigger when expanded. So that's definitely a good option to take a look at. If you're a big fan of Timbuktu and you'd like a bag that has a little bit of extra capacity but still works well as a daily bag, it might also be worth checking out the Command Backpack which is a bag that I've had for a long time and it's held up well and I'm, I've always been impressed by how much I'm able to squeeze into that bag. Even though it doesn't completely expand like this one, it does have a lot of capacity and it is a little bit cheaper than this so you kind of get the best of both worlds. So if you want to check that out, we have done a video for that in the past and I'll include a link to that in the description below. And so overall, I've been really impressed with the Timbuktu Never Check Expandable Backpack. It's been a really great bag so far and I'm super happy that it lived up to the high expectations that I had for it based off of all the promotional material and videos on Timbuktu's site. And if you guys are looking for a really versatile bag that's gonna hold up over the long term and has a nice brand name behind it, I definitely recommend you check this out. If you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and thank you guys so much.